Hey everyone, this is Max. In this video, I want to um, yeah, discuss the current bear market situation with you, give you my thoughts and my opinion, also my investment strategy. So for me, the bear market, of course, is a huge, huge opportunity for future wealth. Luckily, I have built up a lot of cash flow positions. So this gives me the opportunity to keep on investing. All my cash flow streams are being reinvested right now with at least the money that I don't need for my personal expenses. And most of my investments go into Bitcoin. Why? Because Bitcoin is a ha the highest quality in crypto market that you can get. Some Bitcoin maximalists, of course, would say even across all asset assets, um, it is, has the highest um, quality. But at least I would say for the crypto space, and I believe in the crypto space, the crypto space has earned a lot of good money in the last bull run and they can survive and keep on developing like the good projects cannot keep on developing during the bear markets. The projects that have venture capital backing, um, they will have a future. A lot of them will stay. On the other hand, of course, there will be stricter regulations for a lot of altcoin projects. Bitcoin will be not so affected as many of the centralized altcoin projects, but still they will probably survive. And um, if they survive, they you will make a very, very good money from them if you are invested during these bear market times. A lot of them are the coin prices are not reflecting the fundamentals of many of the projects right now so and the projects are not depending on their coin price all the way through they are depending of being capable of keeping on developing attracting new money attracting building out the use cases um, setting up for the future that's what they depend on to persist all right so if you look at the Bitcoin chart, we see that, of course, it's not the first bear market. It's a rather, it's a heavier bear market than the last dips we have seen. Yes. But um, if we take, we zoom out, we have the long-term perspective on Bitcoin. We see all the dips have eventually ended at some point, And then there was a turnaround and a lot of the times it was up to a new all-time high. So what needs to happen for the market to turn around? Um, basically, the main factor is that the inflation needs to be under control again. So in the last month, we have seen a growing inflation and therefore a growing interest hikes from the central banks. And this causes the market to take the money out of the out of the the assets, especially the high risk assets that crypto are um, considered as, and go on the sideline. But the money is still there, and there's more money because of the high inflation. There's actually more fiat money in the system than ever before in the history. So this basically tells all this money is just waiting on the sideline to get back in. And there's probably more money to get back in than there was in, in the market before. This is just logical for me. Um, so I don't know when this will happen, when inflation will be under control again and maybe get lower again, but this will be the, the signal. And until that happens, I keep on accumulating. I keep on taking this opportunity by dollar cost averaging into the assets that I believe long term in. And the number one is Bitcoin. It's the highest quality. It's a limit. It's limited. Uh, there's no interest rates on Bitcoin. Um, nothing like that. And it has the biggest adoption, institutional, even country adoption, everything. That's only Bitcoin. So. Um, my main position that I'm building now is the Bitcoin position. I can tell you honestly, my average Bitcoin price is much higher than the price we have right now and I did not sell. 
I did not get out of my Bitcoin positions. I got out of a lot of my altcoin positions, but not out of my Bitcoin position. Um, because I start seeing Bitcoin not as the price, but as um, yeah, the, the amount of Bitcoin by just increasing the amount of Bitcoin, you know. And this is more like the criteria that I see and I want to maximize on this. So, um, of course, another factor is that I don't have money in Bitcoin that I need short term. I can wait until the next Bitcoin halving in 2024, which will also likely be an event where Bitcoin will rally up to a new all-time high. So, yeah, I have my cash flow positions and a lot of my cash flow investments I can pay out in Bitcoin, choose the fields and my first plant in uh, yield notes, of course, and that's what I'm doing. Uh -huh. I'm cashing out in Bitcoin and keeping these positions. It's like an automatic dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin without using my own money. That's a good thing about my cash flow investments that I have. And especially my stable ones, the ones who are where my initial investment will can be returned to me at the same amount, like with yield notes, like with choosy fields, all all these kind of platforms. That's what I like about them, you know. So um, maybe let's look a little bit on the cycle of bear markets or in general the psychology of a market cycle and let's maybe start here with euphoria this is in october when we had the last all-time high with the bitcoin futures etf in the usa being launched and you see um we go through all these phases and it's always the same um comp complacency we just need to cool off for the next rally anxiety why am i getting marching calls this dip is taking longer than expected a lot of people um, have leveraged or um, yeah have increased their risks during the bull markets and did not manage their risk properly so i'm getting marching calls then denial my investments are with great companies bitcoin is so good or Solana or whatever it cannot really fail it will come back it's just a question of time it can happen in the next day that we go back to the all-time high panic shit everyone is setting i need to get out capitulation um i need to get out now you know and this is the capitulation moment is a moment where we're really all the weekends all the people who only invest for the price will probably leave and who don't have um, um, strategies to to invest who are out of funds you know who are out of money they have a huge problem at this point then there's the anger whose fault is this um, then there's a the depression and then the disbelief and the market is starting to get up again and then we eventually we start here with the disbelief and then hope because market keeps on rallying optimism belief thrill euphoria and then we get all the positive emotions again that bring um, the levels up to new all-time highs so for me it will be probably it will be more um, a very sudden rally to the next in the next bull market because as i said the money is just waiting there's just some critical factors that need to change on the macro level and then the money will just get back and it will be a very very strong rally there will be FOMO fear of missing out and this will be a catalyst for the prices but I don't know when this will happen we will see um, these are just my thoughts you know my strategy um, to maximize on my Bitcoin holdings and also on some other projects. I will share my other projects with you, um, my altcoin projects that I invest in, in my newsletter with you. So you can check that out. Every Sunday you receive my newsletter. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it helped you a little bit. And yeah, uh, I'll happy if you like this video, if you subscribe to the, my channel and my newsletter, of course. And see you next time.